Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. I just realised I still have my fire pants on, which is probably a really, <laughs> really bad idea wearing this snow costume. Um, I might get, like, I'm glad I've got trousers on at least, because otherwise, you know, if this all melts, there is going to be kind of a half-naked Wheel Assassin on the channel. That is not going to be something pretty, so <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, today I am in my Christmas stuff, because of course it's December, and I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to build my last Stranger Things uh, tutorial before 2023. So here we have the RV from Stranger Things Season 4. Now then, the technical name for this, or the actual kind of model name for this RV, is a Turbo LS Winnebago. I could be wrong about that, but I actually have looked at a YouTube video uh, kind of on this Winnebago. Not the same one from the show, but a different one from a different owner. And uh, they give you kind of a, a tour of the inside and stuff, which I used that video to help me build this one from the series. A big shout out to that channel, I will drop a link in the description to the video as well. Honestly, this RV, this Winnebago even, is such a cool machine. I definitely check out... I definitely check out? I mean, I definitely recommend checking it out, like I said, in the description below. It's awesome. So, um, let me give you the grand tour. Now, there's not much to go over, as it is quite small. But um, on the outside, we do have a lot of details. We have these kind of blinkers, or the actual indicators, on the side of the Winnebago at the front here. We've tried to include them both, because uh, this is a very, very big vehicle, of course. So uh, it's got to have a lot of, like, warning when it's going to turn and things. We have the main headlights. We have ourselves the actual uh, kind of Turbo LS, I guess you could say the actual, like, manufacturer. Kind of logo in the front there, which is just a skull. <laughs> I've used to represent that one. In the series as well, there is actually, like, a, a skull of some sort, like an animal skull, on the front of this vehicle. So I included it with the, of course, Minecraft skull. Uh, just there, the Minecraft skeleton skull. We also have these lights at the bottom, which again are probably uh, maybe like fog lights or something. Anyways, a little bit more detail. We have used looms for the actual grill, which I think look pretty cool. Less metallic -y and goes with the uh, the actual colour kind of scheme here, which is nice. We've used these very, very big stone walls to represent the actual wing mirrors. And I felt these look really good for the behind of the wing mirror to give it that metallic -y look, uh, as they are great. But from the back, of course, it's glass because then it looks like an actual mirror, especially from way back here, which is nice. On the very back of the vehicle, we have that spare tire. We have the Indianapolis kind of uh, license plate. Now, I have tried to mimic this from the series, but it was very, very difficult because when we see this Winnebago for the first time, it is, of course, when the kids, Eddie and Steve and Nancy, are all kind of sneaking around the back of this, trying to get to this back window. And uh, it pan the camera kind of pans from here and goes, Vroom! like the McQueen speed past here so I could not read the license plate properly. So I've had to improvise a little bit, I've gone with a 1E, 44 and 17. Probably is wrong, but um, you guys can always change that if you need to. We have ourselves more of the brake lights and stuff on here, and then we have some more detail around this side. These acacia trap doors make for some really nice little hatches and vents and stuff, which is pretty cool. On the very top of the roof we have ourselves the air conditioning unit, and then a couple more units up here too, but nothing too fancy. Now then, time for the exciting stuff. Going on the inside. Now, what is one little slight shame is it is a bit of a climb to get in and out of this thing. You have to like full on jump up in order to get in and you can't jump this as a normal character. Now, there's a simple solution. You could either stick a loom here, a loom, sorry, a structure block even, or you could just grab yourself a slab and then maybe a stair on top of here and a stair here. That would also work, but the slab also on its own works quite nicely. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you, but it looks more streamlined this way too. Okay, inside anyways, getting carried away. We have ourselves the two um, seats up here in the, uh, <laughs> I want to say cockpit, but it's not a cockpit, <laughs> the cabin, I guess. So we have the little, like, curtains on either side. This is where Steve sits in the series when he drives it, and this way has the heart to heart with Nancy, so she sits there. And it's a very, very nice scene, that one. Love that scene. We have the seat behind the driver just here, so maybe it's like a, uh, well, just another spare seat for anyone traveling. We have ourselves a little kitchenette just here with a fridge. Uh, we got the hob above and then the little sort of light there represented with an iron trap door. We got the little table and chairs here, and then we have the big seat where Lucas and Max sit back here and again have another heart to heart. This should be called the heart to heart Winnebago to be honest. Um, but uh, it's an awesome scene and um, yeah we have the window over here which can be left open if you wanted to. You could just destroy that to give the illusion that uh, you know it's open and things. Yeah I'm really happy with the way this came out. For such a small and compact build I tried to include as much detail as possible and I think, uh, I think it went well. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. But anyways, that's enough talking for one day. 
let's get building. Okay, so our Winnebago just here. For those that don't know, a Winnebago is literally a house on wheels. So it's designed for travelers or anyone who wants to go on a nice road trip to be able to take this van, uh, well, van kind of almost like a truck, basically, that you can sleep in across the country. It is so cool, very ingenious design. So basically we need to go ahead and build the shell firstly. It's a pretty hefty task, but not one that is gonna require too much uh, you know, of our brain power, which is awesome. So we're gonna take ourselves some polished andesite slabs, some blocks of coal, a loom, smooth sandstone stairs, glass, glass panes, stone brick wall, birch fence gates, and acacia trapdoors too. One thing I should mention before we crack on is uh, the wheel sort of base for this build is actually five blocks in width. It is very, very wide, so it's not gonna fit on any of our three block roads that we've been building around Hawkins, sadly. But in the caravan park, it'll suit quite nicely. So I'm gonna go over here and start building over here. I'm gonna go with a block of coal here, and then I'm gonna go for uh, my andesite, and I'm gonna take this along the front grill firstly for my five. One, two, three, four, five. So literally out the front of the block of coal. That way I can stick another over here, and we have a gap of three between them, like so. Very important to have a middle block, so we can have two seats with a little space in between. Nice. Now then, let's go to this side over here firstly. We'll go back for five blocks as well. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll stick ourselves our last wheel. Then we'll do three more for our slabs. And we'll do the exact same on the opposite side. Symmetry is very important because we don't want a wheel, say, here, for example. That would just look a little bit strange. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Once you have that going, then uh, you're good to go. Now we'll close this up into a very big rectangle. And the side with the kind of wheels not too close to the bumper is the one that is gonna be the back. So bear that in mind. All right then. So now around the side, we can start by taking ourselves some, ah, I actually forgot myself, a very major indeed, uh, major material even. Smooth sandstone, that is really key. We're gonna need some smooth sandstone. So just swap it out for your andesite slabs once you've used them all like so. Second to last block over here, we will go upwards to four blocks in height. One, two, three, and four. Exactly the same on the opposite side. Cool. Now we'll do all the way across here first. So we'll go with one, two just here. Then we're gonna do ourselves upside down stairs across the top of all of these blocks of coals for our wheels. And we have to do them when we get to them. So uh, that is a bit of a pain, but that's okay. Another block here. And then we'll go for the full four here. So I've left a gap of two. Fill over the gap of two by just adding in two across the top. And then you can take glass for these middle ones. Now we'll do ourselves one, two, one, two. And then over here, we only do a single block. This is where our door is gonna be. So we'll take glass again. Then we'll go three blocks over with our sandstone. And over here again, one, two, one, two, like this. Although this one, remember, is a wheel. So you have to take ourselves an upside down stair, just like so. Nice one. Now we don't place any blocks across the front. This is all gonna be for stairs. We'll get onto that in a moment once we've done the other side. Now up here, we can take ourselves a glass block just here, and then we'll do ourselves a glass pane. Uh, is it gonna start here? It is, so we'll do ourselves a glass pane, as you can see, behind our stone just there. Now we do stone wall coming up, and then we do glass pane to connect the uh, glass block here. So we do like a four <laughs> kind of block design like so. It looks really, really strange at the moment, but uh, it will look good once it's done. And there we are guys, that's done. <laughs> oh man, that'd be crazy. Right, let's go ahead and take ourselves two more sandstone blocks just like so. And now we can come around to the front. Now what's cool about this is we use the stairs to kind of shift into the looms, which is nice. Gives it that really like proper look of uh, a very large vehicle. We'll stick ourselves an upside down stair from the two blocks just up here. And then below we'll stick a normal one because we don't want it to connect this one. But then here we'll do ourselves a twisted around one like so. One block away, do another twisty one and then another normal one this side. Now we'll take one loom in the center and then three looms up here. Once you place the first one, you'll have to shift or crouch click to place the other two. And then finally, shift again or crouch click and place yourself another upside down stair on that side. Lovely. Cool, okay, now we can take ourselves glass panes along the front here, all the way over the looms and then around again to here before then connecting to another block which will be here exactly the same as the opposite side. 
upside down stair here above the wheel, one block, and then two blocks over here like so. Before we move around, let's go ahead and stick ourselves a normal stair here and on this corner of the pane as well. And then we'll do three ups and down in the center here. And it gives that real arched effect to the front roof, which is one of the major details I was struggling with when, you know, I was planning this tutorial. But um, I found just flipping the stairs upside down here doesn't leave proper kind of curved emotion as well, which is what we're going for. So that's lucky. Don't forget to add in your other wing mirror by going with a stone brick wall and a glass pane just here. Nice one. The next thing to do is to take our smooth sandstone again and go two blocks back from the stair, of course, just here. Then we'll go with our full four, one, two, three, four, and we'll do that for two, just like so. Over here, there's gonna be a one block window, so we'll add in two blocks, our one window, and then our block again. And remember, this is for the kitchenette side of things. Then we'll do ourselves another four, and then two, and two, two windows, and then of course, blocks over the windows like so. Nice one. Now then, for the far back, we're gonna come ahead and bring ourselves some smooth sandstone stairs. We'll go one here, and one the other side. Upside down, upside down. Normal, upside down. Normal, upside down. Just here like so. Cool, I know it's looking weird at the moment, but it'll be fine, don't worry. Now right to the back, we wanna do ourselves upside down for three in here. One, two, three. So that is the one, two, and third stair down from the top. Now we'll do ourselves, I think there's a normal one goes in here. Oh no, it's just full upside down now. So one, two, and three more upside down here. Cool. Now in the bottom middle one, you can add in yourselves a block of coal coming out from the vehicle like this. Don't worry about that little gap. It's supposed to have that gap, just so it looks like it's kind of hanging on the back here. And then we can take birch fence gates on both sides, but open to again look like they're sort of latching the wheel onto the back there. Lovely. Now we'll do ourselves three blocks of glass, I believe. Yep, one, two, three. And then we can do ourselves just normal stairs at the top here to kind of slope the roof back into the, the main Winnebago. Nice. Now you can leave the interior of this empty at the moment, especially the roof, because we're gonna sort of fill it in with different materials afterwards. Coming back to the sides though, we can add in ourselves these acacia trapdoors, which are gonna be used to make our vents. So we'll go with one just down here, um, just next to the step, fold it down. One in front of the wheel just here, fold it down. And then there's a couple around the other side as well. So right around the front, and then back around to this side, we just do one behind this wheel here. Oh, did you notice my mistake? Upside down stay on that wheel as well. And then finally, another one kind of duplicating the other side, just like so. Look at that, that's looking awesome already. Well done guys. Let's get some more materials and crack on with a new step. Okay, so as we've already begun with the exterior, we may as well continue with it as well. We'll take some item frames, some dispensers, red banners, spruce buttons, a birch sign, iron bars, glass panes again, a blast furnace, and finally block of redstone too. All right then, so we're gonna go for two item frames on the side of the stairs here and here, on both sides. We're adding ourselves the blocks of redstone, just like that, and that is done. Now around here, the side with the door on, we wanna go just above the block besides the door, which is the window up here, and add in a glass pane like so. And as you can see, there is one on the other side in the exact same position, so you can do that too. Cool. Now above the back window, there's gonna be one with an iron bar in instead. So we can add that in as well on both sides. Nice. Symmetry is always important in these builds, which is very helpful for us. Let's go with an item frame on each of the four wheels, like this. And now on the front two, we're gonna add blast furnaces in. And on the back two, dispensers. Just to kind of give the difference between the two, like maybe the front ones take a bit more weight than the back ones, but that's probably the opposite way around. So um, we just wanna add those in, just to give a little bit more detail. Wonderful. Now we're coming to the back. This is where we have the most materials for the section. Oh, actually, whilst we're at the front, let's just stick our item frames on here so we don't have to bring them back later. We'll do one in the center, one down here, 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 and here, like so. The stairs here and the looms here are the only ones that don't have them on, which is cool. Kind of looks like a big red nose and then two little sort of dots, <laughs> maybe moles or something. <laughs> Build a smiley face Winnebago. 
That's looking good though. All right, cool. So now on the back, we want to add in one up here and here. These both have spruce bottoms in. And then ones down here, kind of diagonally below the windows, which have red banners in for your big tail lights. And then on this left side down here, you can add in a birch sign that will say on the second line down, uh, Indianapolis, which if you can do it all in caps, that would really be helpful. So Indianapolis. Hopefully I spelled that right. Did I spell that right? I think so. And then I'm going to write myself in just after it and then I'll shift it all down. One capital E. And I'm going to do a dash again. Or actually I'll do the one E together. Please remember guys, if you want to do something different, feel free. And then I'm going to do myself 17 just at the end. Like so. And then I'm going to flip this all to the second line down. Official. <laughs> and I'll stick myself an uh, item frame here and a dispenser on here so it's like a replaceable back wheel just in case they need it. Lovely! That is it for these materials as well. Let's get some new ones. So up to the roof now and the front grille of course. We take a skeleton skull, some redstone lamps, iron trap doors, birch trap doors, some spruce slabs, smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz stairs, a crimson trap door and finally some spruce stairs as well. Now to give this a really like posh look on the inside and make it look very decorative we're going to do ourselves three stairs at the back and then we're going to curve these around and we're going to come one two three four and you know what we'll go five just at the moment and then where we're going to stop is uh, let me just look at this checking it out we'll stop here for now down on the other side we'll do the same coming up to that exact point like so now we're going to go ahead and take our slabs and we'll go one two just here yep and then we'll do ourselves a iron trap door up here. And then we want to go for, I think, four slabs before we reach the front, which is going to have three blocks on it. So one, two, three, four. That will leave us with a one block gap, which we just add in three blocks up here like so. Now we can do ourselves a curved stair just back here. And then one here as well, leaving a block gap just above where the driver's seats are going to be, just up here. That is perfect. Awesome, so now we have this, which looks really, really strange at the moment, but now we're going to do the important part of filling it all over. So to do this, you take yourself a slab just here, of quartz. Then we'll do ourselves back here, where we have the iron trap door. We're going to do two blocks made of slabs, back for six in total. Then we'll do three stairs just here, and then we do a slab in the middle of this area here. And then this is going to be covered up with birch trap doors all around. Shift or crouch click to add in one here and here. Make sure it's in the same layer as these trap doors though, because we need to hang a banner from that block below. Lovely. Now coming back to this side, we do the same, just the opposite way around. We leave these three blocks empty because they're going to have crimson trap doors folding up to that block. And two around here and two around the other side as well, leaving the stairs empty. Remember, this is like an air conditioning unit. And then we do three trap doors here of birch and two next to the quartz just like so nice that looks really cool okay so now into the interior we need to oh actually before we move on gosh it's getting too carried away come to the front grill and just add in yourself a redstone lamp just here and here and then a skeleton skull in there and if you have yourselves pick block on grab yourselves a beacon stick them on the ends of the vehicle like so that would just save us having to come back to the outside for that one material. And there you go. Awesome. So the exterior is now done. You can go ahead and build your own Winnebago from here. But um, if you want to stay for the Stranger Things one, stay tuned. We'll get onto it now. Let's go for it. Okay, next we'll need ourselves a birch trap door, some spruce planks, some brown banners, jungle stairs as well as some spruce stairs, a spruce trap door, a lectern, a jungle trap, uh, sorry, jungle slabs, and some brown wool as well okay then so on the inside we're going to go ahead and line the floor in here with some brown wool you want to do this just the first layer of your sandstone going along including the back of these upside down stairs so just all the way along here and that'll be level with the door as well and also give the illusion that the winnebago is actually you know being held up by like a suspension and actual wheel axles just below which is pretty cool so if you go on inside Every good Winnebago should have a door on it. So we're going to add ourselves a birch door as well. You can just add it on like so. 
If you wanted to have the hinges maybe the other way around, feel free to do that. I can't remember from the show which way around it is, but usually on my plan ones, they are the same as the series ones. So this one is facing more towards the cabin up here. So if you wanted to flip it all around, just remove these blocks. Oh, sorry, these ones. Okay. Top. Nope. Come on, door. Okay, that is my bad. We have to do that. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, you, you wouldn't know I've been playing Minecraft so long. Ah, crikey. Right, and then we'll just replace everything we've destroyed. And there we go. <laughs> I'm trying to make it like, oh no, it's a simple fix. Destroys the entire thing to place one door. Crikey. Right, there we go. Anyways, now that's done, we come on into the interior. And we're going to take ourselves a jungle stair just here, next to this window and one the opposite side as well, leaving a one block gap between them. This is awesome for anyone wanting to make this into a survival house because you have these two stairs and access actually beyond them, which is nice. Not for long though, because we're gonna add in ourselves spruce trap doors upside down against these two looms and over here, the lectern for the steering wheel. Now we'll stick ourselves a spruce trap door here and then we're gonna leave that empty for a nice, uh, well, it's kind of like a ham radio just in here. So we wanna leave that empty. Back here we're adding ourselves a jungle slab like so and then we're going to need our jungle materials for back here and stuff. So next to this window uh, we can go for one just here actually. There we'll stick ourselves an upside down stair. Nope, here we'll stick an upside down stair. Normal stair goes here so leaving a gap either side of the doorway like so. Then we'll do a normal stair just here so we have ourselves a little table. Then we'll do a curved stair here, normal and a curved that side in the corner. That way we can add in ourselves three jungle slabs for the big sort of king size bed that kind of folds out here. Lovely. And uh, is that it for this area? I think it is. Oh, before we forget, let's add in ourselves brown banners against those blocks just like so. Really separates the, uh, the driver area from the actual, you know, resting and kind of transport side of things. So if we take these spruce trap doors just here, you can stick them in front of the window if you wanted to. But um, I'm going to stick mine here just next to it, like so for two. And I'm going to do one a space away again so we can have the window nice and viewable, I guess. <laughs> like so. I'm also going to remove the stair above it as this is going to be where my hob is going to be. So I want to have like a, a hopper above it so it looks like a very nice extractor fan for the, uh, the oven and stuff. Now coming on board, we're going to take ourselves some jungle signs, some iron doors, a bl uh, sorry, a furnace or a blast furnace, that's fine. Um, iron trap doors a jungle trap door, a hopper, always love a hopper in a Stranger Things tutorial, Ah, oh, just makes it more, you know, special. <laughs> Let's add in paper as well, item frames and finally an observer. So for the item frame and observer, we stick it just on the dashboard here. If you do it at an angle, it kind of looks like a ham radio. Uh, you know those uh, truckers have them and I'm pretty sure RVs have them too. They kind of, you know, they can, it's like a walkie talkie basically built into the vehicle. So it allows them to communicate with other drivers and other kind of truckers and uh, see if there's any traffic coming or things like that. It's really, really cool. There we go. Right, and then stick ourselves a jungle trap door up here, fold it down like a big sort of seat just there. Sadly, we can't get onto it because we have this stair, but it's for looks. It's all good. <laughs> so we'll stick an item frame just here uh, with a bit of paper in like so. As you can imagine, it might be like notes or something. Very important things. A hopper just here and a furnace below and here I've stuck a trap door on top of it just like the four hobs. Then next I've stuck a door just against this one, an iron door, oops, against these two blocks for my little fridge, like so. If you wanted to make this into a working fridge you could probably stick yourself a dispenser just there and then have yourself like a button on the side instead. So when you go to like click the button it should spew out something from the dispenser and then open the fridge door as well. That'd be pretty cool. Or even you can figure out a nice little redstone way. Redstone? redstone way even of doing it. A whetstone, it's like a, a married stone. Anyways, <laughs> let's stick a jungle sign back here on the, the stair and just come out of that. We don't need to write anything on it. Same in the opposite way around as well, just to make it a little bit more detailed and also separate it from these kind of seats up here and this one too. So it looks very unique. Cool. Okay, let's get some more details done. Okay, so literally the last detail we need to do is adding in the banners. This tutorial is made up mostly of banners. So uh, without them, it would look pretty bland. So we just need ourselves four banners, two green, two white. Then we're gonna need some light gray dye, some brown dye, orange dye, and green dye as well. Uh, yeah, that is everything. Okay, just, <laughs> just had to double check in my mind. 
Um, by the way, you know, like, uh, parents get really excited when they've got, like, a new hoover, or, um, like, a mop is able to be detached or something, you know, something really small and humbling. I'm really excited today about the fact we have looms already built into a construction. This saves so much, like, looking for the loom, placing it down, and making it sound like a hard job, but it is. It, after doing it so long, it's lovely to have a grill that is made of looms. <laughs> We're going to open it up now. We're going to spread out our banners in our inventory, like so. We're sticking our green banner first, and we want to make our kind of W that is that has the sort of orange W on it. So we take ourselves orange, we go with ourselves this inverted, oh, no, 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 normal chevron even. Then we're going to get ourselves this pale dexter, and then a pale sinister the other side. That's very, very bright. Doesn't look like a W at the moment. So we'll take the orange die out, and we'll stick the green die back in for the Borgia. Perfect Borgia like so. Now we want to get ourselves like a, a little bit of a design going with one of these green banners. So we just want ourselves this orange chief vest and we don't have to Borgia this one. That is all done. Now we take the orange and green away. We're not going to need them anymore. We'll take the white die in. Sorry, the white banner in, then the white die. And then we're going to need this stripe, which is called a light grey pally. We're going to need that. And that's going to be for our blinds at the front of the, the windows here. Another white banner in. Firstly, we're going to grab ourselves the uh, light grey pally just here. And then I'm going to swap it out and I'm going to take my brown die for these little teeth <laughs> looking things at the top. Brown chief uh, indented, sorry. So we're going to need these. Now before we head on inside, let's stick ourselves a W in front of the door. You can crouch or shift click to stick it to the door like so. And then we stick ourselves these normal green and orange banners along here. Just like so, before the front and before the end, including through the acacia, uh, just like so. And they should cover up two blocks on the side of our vehicle. Let's do it the whole way along here, like so. No W on this side. And then on the inside, we're going to pop on in. We take ourselves the normal white banner, just the one with the stripes on. We stick one here and one here for little curtains on the side. As you can see, that looks way cool already. Now on every window in here, we stick ourselves these white banners with those brown teeth on. <laughs> so trying to make the curtain look like so. And again, that just makes it look a whole lot better, doesn't it? How cool is that? And that is it. That is how to build the, is it Turbo LS? Don't want to mess up. I think it's the Turbo LS uh, Winnebago from Stranger Things Season 4. Well then, Assassins, thank you so, so much for watching this Wheel Assassin Guide. I'm very sorry I keep getting myself confused in tutorials lately. I um, I get myself a little bit overwhelmed and then uh, I start talking rubbish. So I just want to apologize for that in advance uh, for future builds. But I really hope you manage to build your own Winnebago in Minecraft. These ones just look cool. And like I said, definitely go ahead and check out that real life one. Uh, link in the description below to that owner's video. So cool. Really, really awesome piece of kit. So definitely check it out. But um, thank you very much for watching until the very end of the video. If you enjoyed this one, please be sure to drop a like. If we can get this video to... Ooh, let's, let's go big and beyond. Let's go for 50 likes. Then um, we'll try and do another sort of moving house tutorial. How about that? That'd be fun. Um, but also, as it's the last one before... The last strain of things tutorial before 2023. It'd be awesome if we could go out of the bank. So please, definitely drop a like if you can. If you're also interested in those 2023 Stranger Things tutorials coming soon, please consider joining the Assassin Hood today for free by subscribing. And if you're on social media, so am I, you can check out my links in the description below. We have ourselves Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, and loads of other ones too. Actually, I've been uploading a lot more to Pinterest lately, so please have a look at that one. That's always a cool one. Um, but yeah, until the very next time, guys, take good care of yourselves. Have an excellent Christmas. If I don't see you before then, Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year to you. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now.